train, and I've been riding for a couple of months now, and I get a monthly ticket, and I've been riding off and on, getting off, and walking around different areas, getting back on. I've lost 20 pounds doing it in two months. I have a perfect EKG, which I've never had in my life. Um, it's wonderful. The people are great. The, the, the ambassadors you have on the stations are awesome. And um, I just noticed some things as I ride it a lot because a lot of people are just getting to work and getting back from work and I want to stay out of their way so they can do that. And then in the, during the center part there's not that much people and there's just different things you notice more if you're not busy trying to get to work or get home. Um, and so I just thought of some things and some other people mentioned the things to, to me also. One was that um, that some of the people when they, they have the different um, events down here that they had to catch the train 10 minutes ahead before the game was over. And then last night they said the train waited. Somebody said, oh, did you see the train waited until the game was over? So you can just cross that off my list. Of <laughs> 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 and I, the, other, the other main concern is the things about cars not under cars, people not understanding that a train is wider than the train track. And it, it, somewhere in the back of my mind, years and years ago, they used to have big X's, white and black X's, that a young lady, about 14 years old, designed that had the whole space that the train is, plus a little like a footer on each side, so that it was reflective so that people would know you can't put your car front or back in this area or you're going to have some serious problems. And, um, and the other thing was that they, there's a gate that they have for people to stop to go like in Kissimmee to stop to go across, but they have a little yellow gate, but the yellow gate just opens, so you can just open the gate and go anyway. And um, it, I just wonder if it could be locked, and I signed up that only the train, I've been conductor, but I, I'm learning, it's the engineer, that the, only the train engineer can tell you you can open the gate and go forward, because they were con concerned that another train might be coming the other way, and you couldn't see it. Um, but it's been wonderful. There's there's great people there. Um, I've been going on and off at all the different places. And um, the, um, the other thing was that the Lake Mary ambassador, that people, some people can't ride the train because they work locally. But what they can do after work, when they're done at 5 o'clock, get home at 5.30, change their clothes, they would love to be able to have like a 6.13 train to get to Winter Park, Orlando, eat dinner, maybe look around a bit and come back home. And and one of the other things was that, like, we went to New York 40 years ago, and they had an 11.30 to 2 special rate that if you rode the train then you got a cheaper rate. And it would be like for people who are not having to get to work and back with hired people who have time to ride the train, that they could get somewhere, eat, shop, go someplace else, eat dinner, dessert, and just get on and off the train. And that was like one of the other points I had was that if they could have it, if it could be a, a all day ticket to where you can get on, I get a monthly ticket just so, because it is less expensive and I also do it because I can get on and get off everywhere all, all day long and I have chemo cloud from chemotherapy. So sometimes I do forget to tap on and tap off, but I didn't call them and let them know why. I'm not doing it on purpose. And, um, but if there could be something like that for the people who are, are, are already retired, I and mean, there's a lot of retirees, I talked to one gentleman in Pontiana. He said there was over 600 trailer and a big trailer group of retired people that don't really have anything to do all day. And, um, and that there was quite a few, like 20, 25 of them that rode the train one day while I was there and I was talking to them. And I tell everybody about the train. And people don't realize how many things you can get to, how many restaurants you can get to. And it's, it's just awesome. I really enjoy it. And the, I haven't had any, the conductors, the, the, the um, engineers driving the train, the conductors walking the train, and the investors on, on, the, on the platforms have all been completely awesome. And I just wanted to say thank you. Thanks. Thank you.